Hello, I'm Peter Newman. In this week's RE Insight, we're talking about how the oxenic or phenoxy herbicides like 2,4-D, how they work. I've wondered that for a long time and I'm sure many other agronomists have and it's ironic that it's one of our oldest herbicides and scientists have only just worked out how they work. So firstly we have to remember what the naturally occurring auxins do. They are hormones and they regulate a lot of things including cell division and cell elongation. Now the auxinic hormones need to be at just the right level too low and there's no stimulation of plant growth, too high a level and plant growth is overstimulated. So auxins are turned on and off as the plant needs to grow so that cell division and cell elongation can be regulated. So how do auxins regulate plant growth? Well many sports fans will be familiar with the term that a player has a monkey on their back. With the monkey on their back, they can't win the game. It's the same with genes. So for example, if we have the gene for cell division or cell elongation, it has a monkey on its back. It's called a transcriptional repressor. With the monkey on its back, the gene can't be expressed. Without the gene being expressed, there's no cell division or cell elongation. So the plant isn't growing. Now, if we get good growing conditions with moisture and, and warm temperatures, Oxen is produced to fire up cell elongation and cell division. So what does the oxen do? Well, the oxen is the glue that binds an oxen receptor onto the monkey. And a number of uh, enzymatic processes take place and it, and it removes the monkey off its back. So, so the, the monkey gets off the back of the gene, the gene can now be expressed, and so cell elongation and cell division can fire up and the plant can begin to grow. So what happens when an oxenic herbicide like 2,4-D is applied to a plant? Well, 2,4-D is an auxin, and so auxin levels in the cells go through the roof. What happens when that happens? Well, all of a sudden, all of those genes for cell division and cell elongation are all expressed all at once, so the plant tries to grow very, very fast. Now, three main things happen in the cells. Firstly, free radical production goes right up. Free radicals are just molecules that are unstable because they have either one electron too many or one electron too few. They're the same things that can cause cancer in humans, which is why people drink green tea. Secondly, ethylene production goes up. Ethylene is a hormone that's involved in fruit ripening. In this case, it causes cells to swell and is also linked to extra free radical production. Thirdly, we get an increase in abscisic acid levels through the high auxin levels. Abscisic acid causes the stomata to close, so with the stomata close, photosynthesis stops and the plant is not being fed. So we have all of this going on. What does the plant do? Well, it tries to detoxify all of these free radicals, a little bit like us drinking green tea or our body's natural systems trying to detoxify free radicals that cause cancer. The plant is doing this costly exercise of trying to detoxify the free radicals. Meanwhile, photosynthesis is stopped and the plant eventually starves to death because it's trying to do something costly while it's not being fed. And that, in a nutshell, is how 2,4-D works. For more information, take a look at RE Insight.